What's up guys, and welcome back to another music related video. Uh, last week I brought you my top 5 of 2016. And now, I kind of said it last week, but I decided to go ahead and do it. This is my top 5 bands out there just now. Uh, this is definitely my own personal opinion, uh, so any grievances, tough. <laughs> so coming in at number 5, it is it's a band called Dead. Uh, Sort of an up-and-coming band in the UK scene, still to put out a proper album today. But if you like, literally go on their Spotify and listen to something more original, the Dead EP, I think it's called the We Are Dead EP, and listen to To Me Maquez. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. But my god, do they know how to put out some absolute bangers. Once they release an album, they're going to start taking the UK scene over, then they're going to start going abroad. They're, these guys are going to be massive very, very soon. Uh, and by God, do they know how to put on a live show? Like I've only ever seen them in small venues, but they make it feel like, you know, academy sized venues. Like, uh, well, I'm talking from my own experience, the O2 Academy in Glasgow. They make, it, they make a small venue seem that kind of size. So just imagine what they get, what they could do with, big stages, they can make them seem arena sized. They've got the song, well, they've got the potential for songs to be that good. So look for big things from this band in the future because they are, I'll be coming a link to Spotify just like every other band in the comments below. Uh, coming in at number four, they're another UK band and it's neck deep now. Admittedly this, is, this has been a very recent band compared to the rest of these but uh, ever since I started listening to them properly, because I started listening to them kind of half-heartedly about two or three years ago, but uh, now that they've put out uh, what, what people call their debut album, it's not. Wishful Thinking was their debut album, I forgot it when I was on the phone to someone earlier, but uh, Wishful Thinking was their debut. This, the second album, Life's Not Out To Get You, that was fantastic. Uh, don't think there was a bad song on it, not that I can remember anyway. Um, and yeah, they seem to have taken the UK state scene over. They've seemed to have taken the UK scene over completely right now. Uh, they were recently on tour with a date to remember here in the UK, and for a band that before this was playing, you know, your O2 ABCs at a push, they were filling an arena. Well, not they, they weren't, but they were supporting a band that filled an arena, and they had songs that sound as if they should only be played in arenas. So, they've got big songs of two albums. They, they, literally, the sky's the limit for these guys. Uh, I just love, they're st proper pop punk. They're just, it's it's just good to listen to them. Don't really have any more to say about Neck Deep, but they're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, coming in at number three, it's a band called Enter Shikari. Again, another UK band, but oh boy, are they good. Uh, I like bands that take politics into their songs. I, I find it kind of intriguing and interesting to look at the lyrics and stuff like that. And Enter Shikari, you could definitely do that with... Uh, just take a look at Appeal in the Mind Suite. Uh, no. Just take a look at the Mind Sweep album in full and... You know, the song that sticks out for me, and I know it's one of the singles and probably a bad example of why they're one of my favourite bands, but... Uh, Anesthetist, a stab at the NHS and how it kind of been like clusteredly run here in the UK, but it was such a good song, it kind of, it got you thinking, basically. I like bands that make you think about stuff. Uh, and Enter Shikari, and Enter Shikari, definitely one of those kind of bands. Uh, not usually the kind of music I listen to, uh, they, they mix rock with uh, like synthesizer or stuff like that, and it, it just works. Perfectly. I mean, you listen to uh, Gandhi Make Gandhi from um, A Flash Flood of Colour and yeah, that goes into like a full EDM mode and it's like, what? Floodgates open, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, Energy Carry, uh, amazing live as well. I, like, I should have said that about Nick as well, they're fantastic live. Huh? Energy Carry, brilliant live. Uh, definitely one of my top five gigs of all time was seeing Energy Carry last February and they were 
again, it's on the channel, but most, most viewed video. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Definitely go and check that video out. I'll leave that in the editor carry bit in the description, but they're just so good. Uh, new music coming maybe next year, hopefully this year, maybe? I think that's pushing it a bit, but uh, if it's going off what Hoodwinkers, like, it's going to be fantastic, but yeah, Shikari, third favourite of all time. Coming in at number two, we've got Architects. Now, probably the, the, the heaviest band in the top five, definitely, and uh, what can I say about Architects? I, kinda, I think I covered it in the last video on the top five albums when I talked about uh, All Our Gods. And this band is amazing, definitely. I think UK's brightest metal act. Just obviously they've lost Tom Cyril, which was a major influence in the band, but the way he would tackle all the issues going around in the world today. I mean, uh, going and looking at their, not last album, but the album before, uh, Lost Forever, Lost Together, you look at songs on that album, it's completely political, main structure of it, and then you look at All Our Gods and it's very religion based and they, they always tackle something big, they don't shy away from anything and that's that's what you need to do to make an impact these days, you need to have a statement and just go for it and they've done it very well and again one of the best live shows ever, uh, obviously Architects, Shikari, Muse, a band we'll get to in a second and ooh, who else would I put in that top five? Can I just put Download in there as like my fifth favourite gig? But well, that'd be, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it in a minute, but uh, yeah, Architects, amazing band, amazing music, and yeah, that's, again, that I don't have much to say just because I'll keep on repeating what I've said before. Uh, just phenomenal. Again, I'll leave links in the description, but in at number one, it's the band that had my favourite album from last year, it's Billy Talent. Now, a little bit hypocritical maybe, but they are, they, I love them, absolutely love them. Uh, there is a lot of reasons and I'm, I'm going to do a separate video on why Billy Talent mean so much, but musically, I love the way they tackle everything. There's religion, there's politics, there's generic world issues, there's, there's literally everything in this band and I love it. I love every album. I love what they I like. I love the stuff from before they were even Billy Talent. Uh, they were known as Pez, and I managed to dig up the old Watush album. And it's they used to play ska punk. Come on, like they went from ska punk to being political punk rock. It's like such a style change, and it has worked for them. Because I mean, have you seen their crowds at Rock and Ring? Ooh, man, that, that, that's on my bucket list to go see them at Rock and Ring. But yeah, phenomenal band. I love them. Absolutely amazing. Uh, expect a video of me just talking about Billy Talent soon. Uh, hope you like this. I want to know your, maybe not your top five, but just some of your favourite bands. Put them down in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.